In the last video, I made these new pattern pieces for uh, bottoms. These cute uh, schoolboy shorts that I have are my only summertime shorts. So before I go ahead and teach, as I promised, um, how to draft patterns, let me first actually make something out of these. So uh, a second pair of shorts for me. One for you, one for me. You know, that's, uh, that's my plan with these videos moving forward. One of the steps I missed when I made this pattern was adding the easing into the back. So I'm just gonna do that now. I'm using an old bed sheet here to make these. I do need this zipper from those sample pants that I made last week as well. Come on. All right, let's get to sewing. I'm a little embarrassed to admit it, but I only recently realized I should be putting interfacing on the inside of the flaps for the fly so that it's a nice crisp finish. I've been uh, quite resourceful this year because I find stores just aren't open for fabric shopping and stuff. Um, but also, really, really takes the pressure off using old bed sheets to sew with, you know? Not wasting good fabrics. And it's okay if they don't turn out. There we go. That's the zipper. to at this stage uh, pin together my front and back panels to do a test fit. Pinning the seams outward like this just makes it easier to adjust while I'm doing my test fitting as well. So to say there, okay, maybe even a bit more than that. We'll see. I'm putting in hidden pockets. It's been a hot minute since I've last done that, so a bit of a refresher course for me. Boom, that's a hidden pocket. So I missed a step. Let me just Undo my handiwork. I forgot to add that blue on the inside of the pocket so that it doesn't show through. All right, much better. Continuing with pockets, but this time in the back. I've been thinking about the clothes that I like to wear and I've come to the conclusion that I don't like bright, vibrant colors. I prefer black or navy blue pants. Textures are more interesting to me than bold patterns, subtlety, nuance, you know, those sorts of things clean, minimalist lines. A well-made classic white t-shirt 
I mean, does it get any better than that? And look, I realize I'm, uh, I'm not exactly sharing any new information here. It's pretty visible in the things I make, but as a reminder to myself to, to focus on light, making things that I like rather than things that will uh, look good on screen, you know? I'm the one wearing them. I want to feel good. Boom, there we go. It's taken me a few years to figure out what I'm doing here with these videos and this channel. Um, but my goal is twofold. Uh, number one, to get really good at making the clothes that I want to wear and feel good in. Uh, and then number two, um, pass on a bit of that knowledge through tips and tricks and tutorials. And hopefully you get to take that and learn how to make things that you want. You know, um, like I said earlier, one for you, one for me. One for you, one for me. So that's my shorts, all done. Uh, perfectly fit into that style that I was talking about earlier. And the fabric is super comfortable to wear, uh, very light and breezy, so for the summertime, you know? And, uh, and I feel really good in them, so that's a positive thing. But uh, most importantly, thanks, uh, thanks for hanging out. <laughs>